I'm back today with a quick video, which is my plans for um, October, we're in now. Um, forgive the um, uh, little balls of light you can see flying in front of my face. Somebody um, commented on that recently. And it's actually where I sit is in my bedroom and it's quite near the window. The window's just over here. And obviously it's the sun shining and reflecting off the dust in my house. So. No judgement, uh, but I'm sure everybody has dust floating around in their air. Anyway, so I'm back today with my plans video. Um, I haven't done one of these for ages, um, I just seem to never get the time. But I've got a quick half an hour now before I've got to pick my kids up uh, from after school club. Just got in from work. So, I've had some really lovely deliveries and I've got some really nice plans for this month. So, what are we today? I think today's the 8th. I haven't actually sewn anything yet this month, I don't think. Um, so I gotta get cracking because I've got loads of plans. So I'm gonna start with, um, I've just had, I'm hoping I'm gonna get this up this week, um, and I've just had a really lovely delivery from the lovely Aga of Pin and Sew. I know I'm always going on about Pin and Sew, but seriously, the uh, fabrics are just amazing. So, oh, that's a bit dusty. So anyway, um, I've just had a delivery from Pin and Sew, and these are two things that I want to get made this month. I'm just about to stick them in the washing machine. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing my Sew Over It vintage shirt dress, which I made two years ago, three years ago, two years ago, I think, for the Little Red Dress project. So anyway, moving on, I have got this really lovely mustard, and I'm mad about mustard, and especially in autumn. So it's a mustard French terry. So if I show you the back, it's relatively lightweight, but it's still really nice quality. So it's obviously got the classic um, loop back to it. Um, quite a good weight, like I say. And with this, I'm going to make, excuse me, the um, Style Arc Como cardigan. I've seen some really lovely versions of this. Um, and obviously with the Cozy Cardi Challenge going on, it's another one that I want to add um, to my list of cardigans. So that's my first make and I've, I actually had to order a little bit more fabric because I cut my pattern out and then realised I'd actually cut it incorrectly. So I had to order a little bit more. So that is all cut out and ready to go so I'm hoping to get that done this week. Um, another delivery um, from Pin and Sew is this really lovely sweatshirting and I'm hoping, I'm hoping the camera's going to pick it up but it's actually got a sparkle to it. Um, it's similar to the navy um, sparkle sweat sweatshirting that I used to make um, a Nina Lee South Bank dress, which is on the Pin and Sew blog. But I also made a Pin and Sew a uh, Pin and Sew a South Bank sweater out of it. So as you can see, it's lovely sweatshirting on the back, fleece backs, and I'm going to make another one of those sweaters because I have worn it so much. So yes, I'm really hoping that the um, camera is going to pick up the sparkles because it really is lovely. Okay, so that's the other make from Pin and Sew. Um, I also had a lovely trip down to Sew by the Sea side in Mar Sew by the Sea in Margate. Um, the lovely Jenny. I was teaching um, the Tilly and the Buttons Clio class down there this weekend, and she had some really really lovely um, fabrics down there. I've got one in mind, but I haven't actually purchased it yet, which is for a pattern test for the lovely Jennifer Lauren, which um, she's obviously got a new pattern coming out soon. I've spoken about it before. So um, also. While I was down there, um, she had this really, really lovely, and I think you've probably seen it from some other sellers, but it's a mustard viscose, really autumnal, and I tell you, I love, I love uh, mustard. Um, and I think, I can't find where it says it on the selvage, but I think it is a Dashwood Studios print. Um, and I really can't decide what to make out of it. I think mustard looks okay on me. Um, obviously not with red lipstick, that's a bit more difficult. But uh, yes, um, I have, the options that I have are a Sew Over It Pussy Bow blouse, a Sew Over It Susie blouse, um, also a Ultimate Shift Dress maybe, because um, I haven't made one of those for a while and it's really simple. Um, a Penny Dress would be nice, but I'm not sure I've got quite enough for that. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what to make with it. I keep mithering over what to make. 
So um, if you've got any other suggestions um, of perfect patterns, I don't want to do any pattern matching so I'm rubbish at pattern matching so it needs to be something relatively simple that will lend itself well to um, viscose. The only other idea that I did have is obviously Deer and Doe have released a new pattern this week. Um, I can't remember what the name of it is but um, that would it's got a flutter sleeve that would probably look nice or a sew over it um, eve dress which I haven't made yet either so anyway next things so I have been on the Fabworks website recently and I've purchased these two brushed cottons they're not flannel weight they're just normal cotton weight and they are obviously as you can see one's a grey check they're a bit crumpled because they've been in my pile of fabrics to make and an orange and grey I think it is or, yeah orange and grey check and I am going to make some pyjama bottoms for my boys from these because um, it's getting towards the time uh, of the year when they need pyjama bottoms rather than shorts so I am actually going to use a free pattern which I have spoken about before on my channel from um, Oliver and S and it is the sunny day shorts and I've made those for my boys um, a, a lot a lot of times and the fit is really good and all I'm going to do is just lengthen it because the fit is so good everywhere else so yes that's what I'm going to do and they want something that's relatively cosy but not too much so because you know what it's like with kids they just get really hot in the night so yes I'm going to make those and while I was on the Fabworks website I saw these really lovely t-shirt um, weight and they're kind of like I think it's called skinny tea fabric and it's a knitted um, jersey in these lovely stripes I've got one here with the red grey and cream and also an orange I believe that Nikki of this um, not Nikki Rachel of the Stitch Sisters um, has had her eye on some of this fabric as well but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I've got a meter of each and I'm gonna use it to make two men's metro tees because my husband has been asking me for some 60s slash 70s inspired skinny tees for ages and what I thought was I managed to get some ribbing just plain black ribbing so it's kind of like cuff ribbing but it's actually it's cotton ribbing so it's quite lightweight and I got it from eBay and the seller was Crafty Baba. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. So I thought that that would look really good. I'm going to use it on both because they've both got black accents to make the neck bands and to also do some little sleeve cuffs as well if I've got enough. Which I think I should have because you only need a tiny weeny amount. So yes, that's what I'm going to use that for. I think this comes... I think I only got like, I don't know what that is, quarter of a metre and it's tubular as well. So yes, so that is it. It's a really, really quick one today because I do have other plans but they're not fixed so I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do. Um, as far as cardigans um, go, I've only really got, oh, what I would like to make, I've got some, oh, I've just thought of something else. I've got some leftover black Pontaroma um, from a recent make that I've cut out. And I would quite like to make a black version of the um, Jennifer Lauren Juniper cardigan. And I also have, um, I'm hoping that I'm going to have enough left of the Mustard Terry to make a Juniper cardigan in that. If I haven't got enough for a Juniper, then I should have enough for a Muse Patterns Jenna cardigan. If you have got plans to make the Juniper cardigan, Jennifer Lauren has very kindly agreed to sponsor the Cozy Cardi Challenge. And we do have a discount code for the Juniper cardigan coming up in a short while. So if you are gonna uh, make that pattern, you might wanna hold fire for a little bit and take advantage of the discount code. The other thing that I am making, and it's already cut out, is I am making the new release from Kokawawa Crafts which is the pumpkin cardigan and dress and I don't know if you've seen but the Stitch Sisters have made some really awesome versions of this pattern uh, they made the dress version um, from Pontaroma with contrasting bands which is what I've got planned as well and I have cut it out already and I'm going to use I'm going to try the version with the uh, welt pockets I haven't done welt pockets in Jersey before so 
fingers crossed they turn out okay but I'm going to make it so the main body of the dress is in camel um, pontaroma with black um, bands and black pockets for the welt pockets so um, yeah I've got that all cut out ready to go so again that's another thing that I'm hoping to get onto relatively quickly so yes um, hopefully I'll get this up to you this week and if I do just wanted to say again that we have a discount code running at the moment with pin and sew and you can get 15% off any order excluding patterns and also she sells the elasticated cuffs um, those are excluded from the discount but if you use the um, code cozy cardi and I'll put it here you can get 15% off and that's running until the 15th of October we also have 15% off girl Charlie on any of their fabrics excluding uh, bargain bundles and also sale fabrics and again that code is the same cozy cardi no it's not is cardi's 18 i'll put it here cardi's 18 so that's running until the end of the challenge on the 30th of november and the final um code that we have running this week is for the victory patterns samara cardigan uh, which is a really nice kimono style cardigan it comes in sort of a a um, mid thigh length and also a below the knee length and you can get 20% off that pattern if you use the code Samara Cozy and I'll put that here so there's loads of options um, I really like the look of the Samara Cardi um, and particularly she's got a mustard version um, in one of the pictures for the pattern and it looks really awesome so anyway those are, the, those are the discounts that we've got running at the moment. We have got some more discounts coming up if you're thinking of joining the Cozy Cardi Challenge. Um, this isn't going to all be about the Cozy Cardi Challenge, obviously, but I do have cardigans on my mind. Anyway, I have to go because I have to go and pick up my kids. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully my hair is not as crazy in this video as it was in the last. I just had it cut and it was um, in shock because I hadn't had it cut since the beginning of July. So anyway... Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.